searching both this world and its twin Looking for a place that I might belong More than a shadow to all my sin Now maybe it's time to step up Like I've never seen a better reason why Come here, darling, I'm gonna lose me In those flashing hot emerald eyes Try to be the word when you can't listen I Try to be the voice when you can't sing Welcome. Thank you for watching. We just got up. It was a windy night. Very, very windy. Um, but it seemed to have calmed down a little bit right now, but was windy just a moment ago. It's cold. Yeah. My name's Wes. This is Tom. This is the Hippie Explorer. We travel around New England showing you where the gold is and where it isn't. But right now, we better check in with the hip B and see what this weather's gonna be like. Hey, are you groovy dudes and you slap heavy hippies? This is hip B, and I'm here to give you the weather. Let's go! I see a few clouds, but it's cold and windy. And you're gonna be cold, so you better get your long fellows on. Now, I have a few jokes about unemployment, but none of them work. <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> Thank you, hippie. So it's gonna be a little cold. What are you wearing? A witch. My Halloween shirt. Yeah, it's almost Halloween. It's all festive. All right, I'm hungry. Let's go get breakfast. Let's go! fries and homemade white toast. You got it. Three scrambled. Scrambled? How many? Yep. Two? Three. Three. <laughs> With sausage patties and homemade yep. white. Great. Thank you. And you have the three with white. You guys need ketchup, jellies? You got ketchup? Jelly would be great. How was everything, guys? Excellent. <laughs> have, have a great day, guys. Same to you. Here. We're still at Mills Market. It's over there. This is the center of Andover. And we breakfast just was delicious. breakfast was good. And it's cold and windy out today. Might be a little cold to be sticking our hands in the water. This might be a good day to go dig some gems and minerals down in Paris, Maine. And I think that's what we're gonna do. I think so. So let's go see if we can find some gems down at the Dig Main Gems down in Paris, Maine. Let's go! We're 
here at Dig Main Gems in West Paris, Maine. And we're going to uh, see what we can find. Let's go take a look. Thank you. Yeah. It's pretty self-explanatory anyway. You just want to, yeah. yeah, don't put so much in there that it's going to be difficult. And yeah. You give it a shake before the water just to make it, it easier to rinse. And it's going to keep the water a little cleaner. Yep. Um, see why they basin. call it my, my the holy smoke. Give it a drain. Get that water to remain in the bin instead of making it hard to see what's going on on the table. Yeah. Dump it right out. Start looking through it. All right. I some things. That yeah, some pretty color. Pinks, pinks and greens and blues. Maybe a purple amethyst there. Everything here is wow. local. Um, we might have added some stuff from different lines. Oh yeah. Nice one. Yep. All local stuff. Yeah. Um, cool. Amethyst from Deer Hill. Rose quartz from Company Albany. Aquamarine there. It could be from Georgetown, but it could be from closer than that, too. Uh, we got a bucket here for anything we don't want. Okay. Like I said, I'm right down with that. Okay. Yeah, it starts to trickle over. You, know, you got a lot of feldspar. Feldspar yeah. is the base. It's all these big rocks. Yeah. That's what they're drilling into and blasting away at. Okay. Um, but at the same time, when they roll these things around, sometimes yeah. they'll have terminated inside. Yeah. Nice one Cool. But, I'll give you one of our cards and oh, our cool. stickers. Well, Sweet, YouTube thank channel. you. Oh, no way, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we go around New England. Uh, I'll check you guys out. Stuff. Mostly gold prospecting, but it was kind of cold to be in a river today. Right. Yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah, I'll check it out. I'll give you a sub. Are you guys closed after this weekend? No, um, we're going to close basically once it gets a little too chilly. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you Please. play it by ear? Yeah, we play it by okay. ear. Whatever, it's whatever. Uh, Mother Nature has in store for us. Mm -hmm. okay. um, last year we closed like 20th November, I mm -hmm. think. Oh, wow. Okay. Black tourmaline right there. Beautiful black really? tourmaline. Yeah. Wow. Very nice black tourmaline right here. You got quartz with green on it. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. But yeah, it's uh, all sorts of pretty stuff. You might even get a little aquamarine here. Yeah. It jumped all the way over there. So if people want to know your current status for being open, they can go on... Right under Google, um, Facebook will update once we start to lessen our hours and okay. stuff like that. Yeah, this is nice. We'll have fun Thank going through it. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, just ask. Okay. But, oh! Oh, look at that. that. Nice crystal nice. structure look at too. That. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful in there. There you go. Maybe a little paint. Keep an eye out for faint pink tourmaline too. It can get hard to see. Yeah. Yep. All good. Any questions, awesome. just ask. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Set stuff out and I'll identify it for you if you need it. Okay. See over here the big raw piles of material that they bring in from Mount Michael. This one's neat. Very good. Maybe we'll run into you different. Thank you, thank you. Interesting. Yeah. Here's a few of the ones we just picked out.
got a new batch here. Yeah, Mike. Holy smokes. Looks more quartz. Just sorting through. Looking for gems, crystals, quartz, anything that has some sort of color. Here's some of the interesting finds so far. That thing right there is like a tourmaline. That was a twig. We don't collect twigs generally. I think he's got it down now. <laughs> Goodies. A lot of fun. I'm glad you found some goodies. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Camp with... Here at camp, uh, we just got back from the Dig Main Gems place, and we just wanted to pick up a sweatshirt, and we're going to head over to Rosie's, grab a coffee, and maybe we'll uh, take a look at what we found in that bucket that we got there. Uh, and we'll, uh, the gem place, there's a mound, mine, Mount Mica. And I know why they call it that. It's just a mountain of mica. Yeah. And they bring truckloads of it there for the people to go through. And you can, depending on the size bucket you want, you can actually dig in their pile for like 15 minutes. Or There's all different kinds of rates uh, to suit you and what you wanna do. And we found some great pieces. I'm excited to show you. Let's go over, grab a coffee. What you doing? I'm separating the uh, gemstones that I found uh, from the, the, getting the nicer ones out to show Rosie. It's a nice quartz. piece of smoking. Yeah, look at yeah. that. I like that one. Yeah. That, out. that one and that little. Yeah, a little piece thing. of tourmaline in the bottom. Yeah. And it was on a point. Yeah. We came back to camp. We're going to head it down to the East Branch, see who's out on the river. But before we do, we went over to sh got a coffee at the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift, and we sorted through some of the stones, and I've got them out here. Let me show you. Right down here, we have some pink tourmaline, and we have, and there's some bluish type up there, those two. And here's some green tourmaline. This one here is kind of neat. And there's different kinds of green tourmaline, like I said, and the <clears throat> pink, and it looks like blue. And here we have some <clears throat> quartz crystals. And that one has a terminated there. That's a little piece, maybe a smoky quartz. 
And we also got this big piece of smoky quartz here. Look at that. And we got some amethyst, different kinds there. And this is a lot of black tourmaline in here. And this one here, I forget what Rosie called it, but she wants to dissolve it in acid. She said there's like a purple quartz underneath. So we might do that later. So that's, uh, it was a lot of fun over there. Definitely check it out. Dig main gems in Paris. We had a lot of fun. It was busy today. It was a lot of people digging. And uh, definitely check them out sometime. We're going to go down to the East Branch, cruise down the river, see who's down there and snoop around. And uh, Rosie was too busy over there today to talk with her about dissolving that. But we're going to go back later. This has some acid. And we'll see what's underneath, maybe. You never know. Things can change around here from moment to moment because we're just filming what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Let's go. Hi. Oh, you recognize who we are. Yeah. We can't, we can't hide. Yes. <laughs> Big B on the back oh, really? or whatever. Yeah, it's what? Kevin and Tanya Willette on Facebook. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Nice to wow, it's amazing yeah. to meet you guys. My hands are frozen, yeah. but you can yeah. see right It's a cold that. day out there. <laughs> yeah, awesome. my hands are a little cold, but it wasn't bad. We're out here driving around on the East Branch on Byron Road just uh, today because it was kind of cold to be down on the water. And we met Kevin and Tanya Ouellette. They've watched for a long time. And your name is? Zach Ivey. Zach, nice to meet you. I think that you comment on YouTube as well? Uh, yeah, a little I bit. I think yeah. I remember the name. <laughs> well, it's nice meeting you. We're going to put you in the episode. Say hello. <laughs> We're out driving around on the Swift River and looking around. And we found these two prospectors, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Gina. Gina and Jessica and Jessica and we stopped to say hello they've seen our videos so we figured we'd put them in the episode so there they are say hello Hi. <laughs> we're back at the camp um, we went by Rosie's and showed her that rock that we found in that bucket today and she gave us some muriatic acid to put it in here's a picture hey and we put it in there and we're going to take a look at that later or tomorrow after the acid does its work you're looking very festive for the holiday and uh, this time of year yeah, the eyes. oh yeah all the eyes down the bottom huh. we got to get fire going it's a little chilly um Let's do that. Beeswax fire starter. I'm take that. Stick it down there. We got a fire going, just started it with a beeswax fire starter. And look what Tom got us something for lunch. We're gonna split this. This is a world famous sandwich from Rosie's, Virginia Bay Camp. Look at that. World famous Rosie sandwich. We're gonna split that just to hold us over until dinner. It's still a little bit early, but, and uh, we'll see how that is. Let's see if it's a talking sandwich. Yeah, let's see. Is it a talking sandwich? Hello! Oh, look at that. It, it is. is. Look at that. It's like a... <laughs> talking. We're sitting here by the fire. It's going good. See? And we're talking about the day. And I don't know if I mentioned to you, you might have seen a clip earlier in this video, depending on how it's edited. 
there's another serval cat. So the, when there was a rumor that there might be two, but we're like, no, there's only one. They're just seeing it in different. No, there's two, two serval cats. They don't belong around here. They belong in Africa. There's a picture. It's an African cat that belongs there. So what's it doing here? It's not supposed not in New Hampshire. It's not supposed to be serval cats in uh, Maine. We're in Maine. But whoop, there it is. Right there. So however it got here, escaped from its owner or its owner couldn't handle them anymore and ditched them. They won't survive. They won't survive the winter. They can't have it below 40. They'll so they were found at like the very, if, if they weren't found, they would be dead. But, well, only one's been found at this point. One's been captured. One's been captured and it, looked, it had injuries. It looked like it might have been hit by a car. It's a possibility, but. And uh, I mean, they're big cats. They're vicious, they say, vicious. Maybe that's why the owner, if the owner ditched them, maybe that's why. But now there is still a spotting. There's another one around. And I don't know if this one's injured too or not or what. If it's not injured, it's going to be much harder to catch. And the injured one may get, now that it's getting help, we don't know if it's going to, it was alive. You know, it had a broken leg and a pelvis. So the leg isn't a bad thing, but the pelvis, I guess, was, a, was the concern. And maybe they can help him, maybe they can't. But he has a better chance than the other one, which has faces certain death if it has to go through a winter here. So uh, they may try to trap it. So we'll keep you posted on that. There's a vicious beast hanging around. You know, and I, we have a motion light on our tent back there. And it kept going off last night. And it usually doesn't go off for a re you know, it has to be for a reason. Because it doesn't go off unless something goes in front of the sensor. So, it could be a vicious beast. Could be. Or it could just be leaves falling. <laughs> vicious beast. And he's got a cookie. Is that a Mills Market cookie? No cookie. No, there's a cookie. We all saw it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's left of it. What is it? A peanut butter cup cookie. How are they? Oh, yeah, you gave me oh, a piece really yesterday. Good. But uh, we split that sandwich in half, and I've been trying to watch my weight so I don't eat all these crumpets. But he's eating crumpets around me all the time. I'm always hungry. He's killing me. I'm always hungry. But I'm holding fast. We'll be back. 40 degrees. Wow. Temperature's dropping fast, getting cold, cool breeze. Gonna have to get a fire going inside too. Dual fires, outdoor and indoor. Sitting by the fire, we're getting closer and closer to the fire. Because the temperature, the polar vortex must have spun right in or something. <laughs> because it really got cold. It's here now. The wind kind of stopped. I, the wind... It's been getting, the wind was cold all day. It was real bad last night. It was howling. Blew a lot of the leaves off the trees, too. But I hear from uh, the hip B that he said it could get down to 18 degrees. His antennas sent out a signal or something, and he knew. And he said he told me that it might get down to 18 degrees tonight. So... I'll have to keep anything that's going to freeze inside the tent so it doesn't freeze. And we'll have to keep a fire going. So I might chop a little more wood. I like to have uh, some wood inside before we go in. We're going to have dinner inside where it's warmer. And I'll have to start a fire in there. But we're kind of like huddled in front of this nice warm one right here. Getting colder. Getting close to freezing. We brought the whole show inside because it's cold out. OK, 
Okay, this is we got what we got going on here. We got the little buddy heater for instant heat. <clears throat> See, it's right on Tom's feet. <laughs> How are you doing? Better? I will be. You can still see your breath in here. Can you blow? Go. Oh, not yet. Yeah, maybe it's a little warmer in here. What does it say? It says 47. Now well, it went up a few degrees it, since we came in. Yeah, it was under. It was like 39. Now it's 47. We got the fire just started. And the buddy heater going. And a candle. It's all going. <laughs> And we're going to uh, look at our menu and see what we're going to have for dinner. I'll throw them right in. It's the time of the season. So let's season it. A little bit of garlic powder, like that. Teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna use the last of what we got here. We're down to the last stuff in our cooler, so that's what we're cooking tonight. It's called... Chicken Indian. Surprise. <laughs> Chicken Cooler Surprise. <laughs> Put the teriyaki sauce in there, like that. I'm gonna mix that around. We're also gonna put a little bit of honey in there. Hippie honey. Honey teriyaki, you know we like it. Like that. Cover that and let that finish cooking. And then we'll be back and put it all together. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Vegetables. Veggies. Beans. Beans again. These are different kind of beans. They smell like maple. Oh, wow. Look at that. Chicken cooler surprise. <laughs> and there you have it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bring that over to the table and tell you how it is. Here we are. Let me try the chicken. Smells great. Delicious as usual. Mm. Let me try the canned green beans. <laughs> A little squeaky, but yep. good. And the brown beans, canned. I like making my own honey baked beans. But it's hard to do up here because you got to soak the beans and all that. They're good. Baked beans are one of the things that can come out of a can and taste pretty good. Yeah, those are good. All excellent. Mm. Don't go away. We're going to eat this. We'll be back. I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button. These names you see on the screen are those members, and they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. 
If you'd like to be on this screen, hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. Here we are in the corner. And dinner was really good. It was very tasty. Yeah. Um, we went over and dug for some gems. That was a lot of fun. We have the uh, muriatic acid working out there. I'm going to insert a clip right here of what it looks like. Because I don't even know. But here's what it looks like <clears throat> tomorrow when uh, we take it out of the acid. And um, that's about it for today. It was a busy day. And uh, we thank you for watching. Uh, go to that hippie.com if you want to get yourself some honey and make some delicious chicken honey teriyaki. And we also have other beehive stuff and honey candies and different things. We should insert too a special thanks to Rosie. And all special she does thanks to, help to us Rosie. Out. We're always in there bothering her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another cat too. We still haven't figured right. out the mystery of the the wild African serval cat that's around here. There was one, we thought there was only one, but there's actually two, so there's still one, and we're like, right, it's, it's around here. One was found up there, and the other was spotted south of us, and we're right on, on the river, so. We got our eyes peeled. Yeah, stay tuned, next week we could get attacked by a savage beast. Well, I guess that's it. That's it. Until next week. Peace. Peace.